Hello guys, welcome back to my channel for a DIY barefoot sandal tutorial, and here's some items that you'll need. Now you're going to need some string, choose anything that you work best with, beads of your choice, and centerpieces for your barefoot sandals, and make sure they're matching and you get two of the same kind. You need a pair of scissors and some tape if you need it to pin down the string while beads. And if you're like me who picked up some soft jute cord, you'll need a lighter just because soft jute cord is almost like yarn where it like frails at the end, so you'll need that to burn it. And the most important material you would need is your feet. <laughs> Now, I did realize when I first started doing the project that I did not pick enough beads to make this. So I got creative and I was like, wait, I have perler beads, hello, I could just use that. And it's perfect because I'm a candy kid, so why not use my favorite beads? Now basically what I'm starting off doing is lining the string around my little baby toe and stringing on the curler bead on one side just so I can get this started. The tricky part since I got the soft jute cord, I have to string the other half of the string through the curler bead and the only reason why it's you know kind of tricky like I mentioned it frails at the end so you got to be careful when stringing it through a little tiny hole. I also have to constantly cut the ends so the frill just keeps going away and I'm not dealing with it so much. get the beads to how you like in the beginning and I left some space in between as well. You're going to take your centerpiece and with the certain centerpiece that I got, I basically needed to string it from underneath. So you go through the back to the front and you'll see why I did that in a second. <laughs> I love you. the centerpiece you've got. I ended up choosing my ponytail hand because it does ward off evil depending on which way you face the hand or it could bring good fortune and good luck. And I decided to point it down which aims towards the direction of good luck. Pointing up is for warding off evil. Now, as you can see, the reason why I went through the back to the front and stringing it that way is because I had to wrap it around an extra time to make sure it was extra, you know, on there. And then it was able to hide the string in the back to loop it in that little hole at the very top. Okay, so once you do that, just take it off your foot, put it off to the side, and now we're going to work on the actual inklet part for the barefoot sandals. So. I usually love using um, elastic string, that's what I use for candy making, so I just cut off a piece of that, um, made sure it was long enough, and now I'm just starting to string on the beads that I chose to use. Now, it would be a very good idea once you're done stringing how many beads you think is enough, wrap it around your ankle just to make sure to see if it is long enough. If it isn't, just keep adding on more beads until it is the right size. Because you don't want it too tight around your ankle and it's got to look right, you know? Once it's the right length, then you're just going to tie it 
and make sure to double knot it as an extra precaution to make sure the beads don't go flying off. And then put it around your ankle just to be safe, see how it looks, make sure you like it, and then just put it off to the side. And now you're going to do the same step over again for the second anklet for your other foot. To the original piece that we started off with, putting it back on your toe and you know adjusting the beads, make sure you like them. And like I mentioned before, I left enough space just in case. And now I'm going to start attaching some more perler beads so the string has that decoration on it so it can meet up with the anklet that I just created. have enough beads on there now the next step is to basically just tie it to the anklet that you created and line it up how you like I did like a little triangle shape to match up with the anklet you could do straight ahead whatever looks best and to your liking you know and these are the final results for my barefoot sandals you can be as creative as you want. You don't have to follow what I did or if you'd like to. That way it's like simple and easy for yourself. Um, go right ahead, I don't mind. But it is fun to get really creative and see what you can come up with from the different beads that you get to choose. And these are pretty simple and easy to make and I really enjoyed making them and they were so comfortable for electric forest on the day that I decided to go barefoot and rock these. Here's just the final product, just showing them off at different angles and see how they stretch. But like I mentioned, they're totally comfortable. But thank you guys for tuning in to my channel and now you can rock these bad boys anywhere you like.